Friends, we are gathered here together in the sight of God to witness and to bless the joining together of Barry and Megan in Christian marriage. Megan and Barry come to give themselves to one another in this holy covenant. Megan, even though it's hard to soar with eagles when you work with turkeys, <laughs> it led me to the best decision of my life. I never thought that my boss at the time would force me to go to lunch with a beautiful girl from Chicago, but I'm so glad he did. The next time we spent time together was talking while on a ride around the prairies of Minnesota, visiting numerous turkey barns. And this is when I said to myself, there's more to this girl than just looks. I've known Megan since we were freshmen in high school, and we have been friends ever since. Throughout high school, college, and beyond, she has always been there for me. I remember when she moved to Minnesota and started her new job, and she first mentioned Barry. From that very first moment, I knew that Barry was different. He challenged her and brought her out of her comfort zone. He made her a better version of herself. Every year we'd either go out fishing once or twice a year. I remember one trip in particular. That was the first time and the only time that I ever heard Barry tell me that he was in love with another person. Megan provides a source of strength inspiration and stability to Barry in his life. I have never seen Barry so happy, so full of joy, and so full of life. Megan, I can't believe the day has finally come, but I am so glad it has. It took me a while to figure out what I wanted to get you today, but I think I nailed it. My first gift to you is a look back at how this all started. The first trip we went on together was to San Francisco, and I want to get you the sandwich that we love so much. The wine bottle is to remember a memorable proposal, the day you agreed to start this crazy process. The ring box is so our rings are always together, and the iPod stand is to encourage you to keep cooking for me and because you wanted one. Megan, I love you with all my heart. I am excited to see you today and every day. I cannot wait to rush home to you for the rest of my life. Love you, Peaches, Barry. Barry, thank you seems like a very appropriate sentiment to share with you. Thank you for helping plan the best day of our lives together. You are above and beyond what I deserve. How did I get so lucky? You epitomize everything I want in a partner, and I can't wait to spend every day of the rest of our lives together. I can't wait to see you because I know as soon as I do, all my anxiety will melt away. I only hope I can be as much of a wife to you as I know you will be a husband to me. You're going to be much more than I ever imagined and more than I ever thought I would be blessed with. I love you so freaking much, forever and always, Mike. Therefore, as God's elect, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion and kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive any complaint that you may have against each other. Forgive as the Lord forgave you, and over all these virtues, put on love, which is the bond of perfect unity. Barry and Megan, this love that you share originates in God's love for you. It always has been and always will be. There is no end. It is everlasting. Every day I feel blessed that God gave us the opportunity to meet each other. To this day, I am not always sure what you saw in me besides my shocking good looks, <laughs> sense of humor, cunning wit, <laughs> and a great credit score. <laughs> but you saw something in me, and I'm so glad you did. Barry, I love you completely and with every fiber of my being. I love the way you smile and your ability to bring light to every room. I love your kind heart and your generous nature, and most importantly, your selflessness. I love the way you think and how you approach life. I admire your determination and fearless attitude. You are the most beautiful, selfless, and caring person. I love the way we approach life as a team. I love your family, and I love how you love mine. I sometimes love the way you always point out the serious side of life, but at the same time, 
when I get too serious, you know how to calm me down. On this day, I promise to take you as you are, continuing to love who you are now and who you are yet to become. I promise to listen to you and learn from you, to support you and accept your support. I promise to encourage you. I will share in your dreams and help achieve your goals. I promise to love you unconditionally and without hesitation. I vow to encourage you, trust you, and respect you. Together, we will build a home filled with learning, laughter, and compassion. I promise to work with you, to foster and cherish a relationship of equality, and knowing together we will build a life far better than either of us could imagine alone. Megan, my promises are to be there to console you, encourage and entertain you, to cherish the experiences, people, and explore the world with you. To never give up, never stop growing, never stop holding hands, never stop adventuring together, and never forget how blessed we are. To give you understanding, unending support, and unconditional love. Today, I choose you to be my husband. I accept you as you are and offer myself in return. I will care for you, stand beside you, and share with you all of life's adversities and all of its joys from this day forward and all the days of my life. Those who God has joined together, let no one put asunder. You may kiss the bride. I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Copen. As their friends and family, from this moment going forward, we're always going to be there for them. We love them so much. No matter what happens going forward, we're going to be there for you. And we wish you all the best. I hope that every day you both continue to challenge each other and bring the best out of each other. To Megan and Barry, may your life be filled with love and happiness. <laughs>